Hello, in this lab, we're of course going to be working with binary search trees because that's what we've been studying this week. For this lab, what you're going to do is you're going to add a new method to our binary search tree class that we don't currently have, which is a method to count how many nodes are currently being stored inside of the tree. Now there's a couple of ways you could do this. One way that might be the easiest way is to make a new integer variable as part of the private data of the class called count maybe. And every time you call the insert method, add one to it. And every time you call the remove method, subtract one from it, and then just return that number. But I don't want you to do it that way because that won't actually give you experience like writing recursive methods and thinking about how to scan through the tree recursively, which is kind of what I want you to get out of this. So instead, you should write a recursive method that just examines the tree and walks along the structure of it somehow and returns to you the number of nodes in the tree. So let's go ahead and take a look at the lab page for this. All right, so the lab for this week is going to be about binary search trees, like I said, and you're going to be writing the count method to report how many nodes are in the tree. Also, like I said, you shouldn't do this by just making a node counter variable and keeping track of that. So for this lab, you can use these two starting files. The first is the binary search tree Java class that we developed in class. This has the binary search tree class with the methods for printing the nodes in order, inserting nodes, removing nodes, and searching nodes. This is where you're going to add your count method to. You can also start with this count test.java file, which has a main method that inserts 10 nodes into a binary search tree and then calls this count method. So right now, of course, this will be a compiler error because there is no count method in the tree class. But once you're done, when you run this program, it should print out the tree has 10 nodes. So just like the insert, search, and remove methods, you're going to need to actually write two methods to accomplish this because your recursive method needs to take a node parameter to keep track of where in the tree you're at right now. But the one called in main doesn't take any parameters. So you'll write two methods, one of which does the actual work. That's the recursive one that takes the node parameter and you can make that one private. The other one just calls the recursive method starting off at the root node and returns whatever that one returns. So take some time when you're working on this to think about how to do this with recursion. Recursive methods and, and functions always have sort of like a key recursive idea. So think about the tree, draw a tree out on paper, and think about starting at the root node how you could count the nodes using recursion. So this is one of those labs where the code for it is really not that much. It'll be, you know, five or six lines probably, but there's sort of like a key recursive idea that you have to see and understand. So think about it, but if you're stuck on this, please let me know and ask for help. And I will be happy to help you with this. So thanks.